Okay, so let's work on an example problem with cold work. It says to compute the yield and tensile strengths. Okay, yield and tensile strengths, got it. And ductility, cool, for a cylindrical copper specimen has been cold worked by reducing its diameter from 15.2 millimeters to 12.2 millimeters. Wondering how we could do that, we might draw it, um, and that would cause it to become smaller. Lots of different things we could do. So 15.2 millimeters to start, and then down to 12.2 millimeters. So the first thing we're going to need to figure out is how much cold working have we done? What's the percent cold work? Or in this case, percent reduction in area. Well, we have our initial area, and we have our new area. And we're going to put that over our initial area. It's always what you had to begin with on the bottom. Well, most of that cancels out, and so we just it's just a function of the diameter. If we plug that in, we get, okay, it is 35.6% cold work. It's really been cold work. Now, you're like, well, how does that tell me what the yield strength, tensile strength, and, you know, ductility is at this point? Well, it doesn't. You have to look at a table. When you look at this table, you're going to be like, okay, you're going to go up, or going to go to the percent cold work that you found, and you're going to go straight up from there. So that would be like 35.6, so it'd be somewhere around here. I'm going to drag a line up and then I'm going to drag a line over and I'm going to do my best to figure out the number is. So I'm going to say that's around 300. So let's see if I'm right. Ah, I wasn't too far off. 35.6. You're doing this graphically. So, I mean, you're going to have some variation in the problems where you have this. I give you larger error bars to hopefully catch any small mistakes. So all you do is you go to your percent cold work, you go up, and then you go over. Or vice versa. If you wanted to know, well, what... How much cold work do I have to do to have a yield strength of 300 megapascals? You would go to this one right here, you would drag the line over, and you would go in, down from where you hit, and you say, okay, that's roughly 35%. So there's definitely ways you could use these graphs. It's, you know, just because it's visual doesn't mean that you can never use this. There's also lots of wonderful things. Um, free, um, plot Digify, it's one of the plot, sorry, plot digitizer. It's an online tool you can use, which has been fantastic for me in the past. And it helps you take plot data like this and turn it into numbers. Like if you want to test something like an Excel to be really exact, you could do that if you wanted to. So it's really not necessary. Okay, so that's it for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.